Triple G and Canelo, it's a trilogy fight, guys. Now, I want, I want to set this up for you, okay? Because for a true trilogy, now this is Chael's rules. Trilogy just simply means you're fighting for a third time. But Chael's rules means the first two outcomes prior to your third fight have got to be different outcomes. I really believe that. I watch Juan Mella Marquez Jr. Juan Manuel Marquez Jr., one hell of a name. He fought Manny Pacquiao. He fought him four times. Pacquiao had won the first three. I can't figure out why these guys are fighting. Now, this is true at the time, and don't think you have to disagree with me and say, Chill, we all want to see the fight. No, I got it. I was there live. I barely got tickets. It was a packed house. I got that you wanted to see it. Oh, and by the way, to, to hell with the point that I'm trying to make because Manny lost the fight. Beat the guy three times somehow. Marquez got in there a fourth fight. Marquez beats Manny, not only knocks him out, knocks him out of the ring. Now, Marquez had a higher juice concentrate than Tropicana. I have the foggiest idea how his piss test didn't come back nuclear. Either way, I could not go in and enjoy the fight the same. I've got to see a split in the difference. Now, if you go over to DraftKings, this is a moving line. I don't want quoted on this. This is a moving line because last night when I checked this, there was an opportunity to get Triple G by decision. It has to be by decision at plus 700. That is crazy money. There is no way that line is going to hold up. But if you can get Triple G at plus, you fill in the blank. If it's, if it's 300 or better, you've got to consider taking that bet. Now, let's look at the time frame between these guys, okay? It wasn't Triple G and then Canelo won for any new fans, but it was a different outcome in the first two. They had a draw. And then Canelo won. But Canelo was a meaningful favorite. The night that they went to the draw, it set the world on fire. DraftKings has to give a real good look at this when they come out for time number two. Now, they still put Canelo as a favorite. Many people thought Canelo won that first fight, myself included. But I'm not claiming robbery. I wasn't overly bullish on that. If you would have turned to me, I would have not predicted draw, and I would have not predicted Triple G which means I fall into the category I would be predicting Canelo, but it was a good fight. It was a good and it was a close and it was a competitive fight. Now, that was a little bit of a surprise because off the top of my head, Canelo was around that 23, 24 years old. Don't think you have to correct me and tell me he's 25, 26. You get my point. Triple G was around that 36, 37 years old. You were supposed to have this age difference. It's supposed to be this real meaningful thing. They go to a draw. They do it again. Canelo beats him. Great. This is yesteryear. What's that got to do with this fight coming up? Because Canelo, you want to go over to DraftKings right now, you're going to find that Canelo is a meaningful favorite. And that's fine. If you know that he's going to win, who, who cares what the spread is, right? If I tell you you're going to make some money, I tell you that's huge money or a little bit of money. Either way, you're going to tell me, thank you. Is that really what you believe? Do you really believe Canelo is going to go out there and beat him? And why? All right. I'm going to answer this for the critics because I've read everything that Kevin Ioli has written about this. I don't know if anybody follows this sport, specifically this trilogy, closer. The general belief is, when this fight got made, that Canelo, who was recently defeated, has got to get a big name. He's got to get back out there in a headlining spot over somebody that he can beat. Why would you think that's Triple G? Well, because if you back up Triple G's last performance, even though a victory, he struggled a lot. Guys, that's it. That is why DraftKings is throwing these odds. And consider prop bets. Consider taking the round. Consider taking whether it goes the distance. Consider taking a knockout. They are giving crazy money away. Last night, it was plus 700 on Triple G to win a decision. Triple G's most likely way to win is a decision. I think there's a great opportunity here right now. And the story that Triple G is not what he used to be. Because of his last performance, guys, he won. He won the performance. He knocked the guy out. Yes, but he didn't look great while doing it. Is that a bar? Is that a real thing? Because I'll listen to you guys. I'm not telling you where to go with your hard-earned money. I'm telling you that we got our friends over at DraftKings putting a lot of favor on the fact Canelo, who, by the way, coming off of a recent loss is ahead of Triple G, who's coming off a win by finish because Triple G got hit a lot of times in those first three and four rounds. This is the story. You do what you want. You want me to give you a prediction? Let me give you a prediction, guys. 
I had to. I have to. I have to be right. It's important. You're listening to me. I, I understand that smart logic says Canelo. I do understand that. I also do understand that in Triple G's last fight, he dug deep. He showed that he has power, showed that he still wants to win. And he was a little bit slower in those first three rounds. That analysis that I just gave for you, that I largely am quoting from Kevin I only, we both watched the fight. That is accurate. And when somebody starts to slow down, they don't speed back up. And the power is the last thing to go. And if, if ever any of those things that you continue to hear about the fight game played out in front of our eyes, it was Triple G's last contest. That's true. I'm not sold on how great Canelo looked. Even in defeat, I am not sold on how great Canelo looked. Canelo has one problem throughout his career, and that is if you can find a guy faster than him. Canelo Alvarez, even if you want to go back to the night, and I realize he was only 21 years young, taking on Floyd Mayweather. It was a speed issue. It wasn't a power issue. It wasn't an experience issue. There wasn't traps being laid. There wasn't all these things that you want to say because you want to act like you understand boxing better than the next guy. One guy was faster than the other. That guy happened to be a decade and a half his senior, and it happened to be Floyd Mayweather. Triple G, at times, is fast enough to give Canelo problems. Consistently, from Bell 1 through the conclusion of Bell 12, that's not the case. These guys are going to trade rounds. They are going to go back and forth. I feel strongly that it's going to go the distance. Of which, by the way, DraftKings has taken odds on. I mean, not for nothing. You can get this fight any way that you want to do it. I do feel pretty strongly telling you guys, neither one of these guys is going to finish the other. They are going to go the different, the distance. And even if Canelo starts to pull away in the early rounds, and he's going to, he's going to have some great success in the early rounds. And even if Triple G digs deep and shows how tough he is and starts landing bombs later, as he did in his last fight, either way, we get some rounds. And those bombs I'm referencing aren't powerful enough to put down somebody on as young of legs and with good of basics as Canelo. I mean, that's a big problem. People think Canelo's got a great jaw. He's got a good jaw. Canelo's got great defense. He puts his chin down. He puts his hands up. It's what you learn on your very first day. When these pros get in there in front of the world, they think they got to show off. They put their hand down. They got to stick their chin out. Canelo doesn't do that stuff. It's workmanlike. It's basic-like. I respect that in Canelo because he's set an example for the younger generations. But if you want to go to DraftKings right now and you want to get some action on this, Take a real good look at what that line is. Plus 700 as of last night. That, that can't hold up. That can't hold up. But if you can get plus action on Triple G to win by decision, you're going to want to consider that. And if you want to go do a prop bet, just the fact that this fight goes all 12 rounds, you're really going to want to consider that as well.